Christmas is quickly approaching at the time of this recording, and we are counting down the days by watching some of our favourite Christmas classics, from Home Alone to Die Hard to The Polar Express. However, some of us prefer the darker tones, the movies that fill us with joy while scaring the crap out of us. That's right, we're talking Christmas horror movies. So today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 10 Christmas horror movies that will keep you up at night. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. Coming in at number 10, Holidays 2016. Directed by seven people, that's right, seven, and released in 2016, Holidays is an anthology horror that puts a uniquely dark and original spin on some of the most iconic and beloved holidays of all time by challenging our folklore, traditions, and assumptions. Now, our list is entirely comprised of Christmas horror movies, except for this one, which covers all holidays, including Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day, something that has never been done before. Now, the Christmas segment came specifically from Scott Stewart, director of Legion, and includes Seth Green attempting to survive the holidays as he hunts for the perfect gift for his son. The segment itself is reminiscent of Black Mirror, with it including virtual reality, consumerism, and the dangers of mob mentality. Coming in at number nine, Rare Exports 20. 2010. Directed by Helmari Helander and released in 2010, Rare Exports takes place in the depths of the mountains. 486 meters deep lies the closest ever guarded secret of Christmas. The time has come to dig it up. This Christmas, everyone will believe in Santa Claus. Honestly, that plot is pure gold. In Rare Exports, we quite literally encounter the most malicious Christmas spirit the world has ever seen. And to top it off, if you watch the film in its native language of Finnish, you understand nothing but the incessant screaming because in the North Pole you'll find a glaze eyed zombie incarnation of Santa. Who wants to slay you, not bring you cheer? In at 8, Silent Night, Deadly Night, 1984. Released in 1984 and directed by Charles E. Sellier Jr., Silent Night, Deadly Night follows little Billy, who witnesses his parents being killed by Santa after being warned by his senile grandpa that Santa punishes those who are naughty. Now, Billy is 18 and out of the orphanage, and he has just become Santa himself. Yeah, that's a plot. You may begin to see a theme here on our list. Naughty children being punished by Santa and end up getting more than just a stocking full of coal. Instead, death. In this holiday slasher, Santa quite literally grabs a hatchet off the wall, taking down misbehaving kids that he has been watching from the shadows. Here's hoping you've been good this year. I haven't. Coming in at number 7, Sint 2010. Also known as Saint, this Dutch horror is directed by Dick Maas. Yeah, that's his name. Dick Mass, and is a horror film that depicts Saint Nicholas as a murderous bishop who kidnaps and murders children when there is a full moon on December 5th. Lucky for you guys, that date has already passed, although some of you may already be dead. The film borrows heavily from earlier Italian, Spanish, and American horror films, as well as the Danish folklore Sinterklaas, which here was a bloodthirsty medieval murderer who oversaw a savage reign of terror. Fed up with his shenanigans, the locals band together on the night of December 5th and lynch him. However, as per tradition, Sinterklaas vows revenge from beyond the grave, promising to return every 32 years. And that he does. The movie is fun, bloodthirsty, and an entertaining Christmas slasher for the whole family to enjoy. Trust. Coming in at number 6, A Christmas Horror Story 2015. Directed by Grant Harvey, Stephen Hoban, and Brett Sullivan, A Christmas Horror Story follows interwoven stories that take place on Christmas Eve, as told by one festive radio host, Will Shatner. A family brings home more than just a Christmas tree, a student documentary becomes a living nightmare, a Christmas spirit terrorizes, and Santa slays evil. Now, admittedly, it isn't one of the best on our list, but it's certainly a whole lot of fun. Plus, who doesn't love an anthology? I said Certainly do. It's also incredibly underrated and flew under most people's radars, not to mention the movie benefits from three directors who worked on some of the best Canadian movies in passing years, including Splice, Black Christmas the Remake, and the Ginger Snaps trilogy. Coming in at number 5, Krampus 2015. Directed by Michael 
Doherty and released in 2015, Krampus follows a boy who has a bad Christmas and accidentally summons a festive demon to his family home. Now this film is morbidly funny, with it filled to the brim with anti-holiday humour and sarcasm. Krampus is quite literally the Grinch meets the Griswolds family Christmas, and everything in between is fun and entertaining. Not to mention it is filled with Jack in the Box jump scares, with the dramatic hairy horned and cloven footed demon Krampus being the inspiration for this horror flick. The moral of the story is don't scorn Santa or Krampus will come and eat you. Coming in at number 4, Anna and the Apocalypse 2018 Directed by John McPhail and first released in 2018, Anna and the Apocalypse follows a zombie apocalypse that threatens the sleepy town of Little Haven at Christmas, forcing Anna and her friends to fight, slash and sing their way to survival, facing the undead in a desperate race to reach their loved ones. This movie is a standout horror of the last decade, with the film opening with our heroine slipping on her headphones, stepping out her front door and singing It's a Beautiful Day, while behind her one neighbour dies, another falls out of a window and an entire town is on fire. How brilliant is that? Now. I understand that the words Scottish, Christmas, zombie, musical, comedy can be off putting. However, Anna and the Apocalypse is an entertaining blast of fresh air and is a must watch this holiday season. In at three. Gremlins 1984 Directed by Joe Dante and released in 1984, Gremlins follows a boy who inadvertently breaks three important rules concerning his new pet and unleashes a horde of malevolently mischievous monsters on his small town. This movie should honestly be on everyone's Christmas watch list this month simply because of the monstrosity that is the Gremlins donned in hats and earmuffs singing Deck the Halls. So sweet, right? Well, not sweet at all because these suckers want to kill you, though it is probably more suited in the black comedy category. Category, this movie is still a Christmas horror, and of course, it makes it on our list. Just saying. Coming in at two, Eyes Wide Shut, 1999. Directed by the legendary Stanley Kubrick and released in 99, Eyes Wide Shut stars Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and follows a New York City doctor who embarks on a harrowing, night long odyssey of sexual and moral discovery after his wife reveals a painful secret to him. Now, you may be surprised to see this movie on our list, but Eyes Wide Shut is as much of a Christmas movie as Die Hard is. Just saying. Originally conceived by Woody Allen, Eyes Wide Shut pours on the Christmas cheer with with Kubrick placing a Christmas tree in almost every shot. Not to mention the movie opens with a Christmas party where the first gifts are unwrapped. However, it is not all cheer because the film is truly unnerving and lingers in the psyche for years to come. It is rich yet strange and riveting and has a hold on you from the start that you can't quite understand. And finally coming in at number 1, Black Christmas 1974. I mean, there is no Christmas horror more iconic than Black Christmas, the original that is, although the remake is a very good attempt. I must say. Directed by Bob Clark and released in 1974, Black Christmas takes place, of course, during Christmas, during which time a group of sorority girls are stalked by an unknown assailant. Starring the absolutely stellar cast of Olivia Hussey and Margot Kidder, this horror is not just a fantastic Christmas movie, but also a thrill ride from start to finish. When an unidentified caller keeps harassing the sorority house with obscene things that you can only half understand, what you should do is run. However, these girls are trapped inside due to a blizzard and are slowly taken out one by one in a pre-scream slasher that remains just as iconic as the day it was released. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with that list? Were there any Christmas horror movies that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 10 celebrity theories you won't believe part five. Mother of Chaos said, have you heard about the one that alleges that Gene Simmons of Kiss had a cow's tongue sewn into his own? Honestly, that's f***ed and I hope it's true. <laughs> Tiffany Benefield said, Lucy, you should do a top 10 conspiracy theories of Lucy McPhee and her cult following the Lucifers. I mean, there'd be like five viewers, but respect. Maybe one day. Gabriel Solomon said, always nice to see you smile, Lucy. I mean, I don't remember smiling, and I'm sorry that I did that. Never again. Devin Wiggles said, I do believe J Law's falls are not real. There is clumsy, but then there is faking a fall. Honestly, I respect him more for faking a fall. I love falling down. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. And until next time, see you later. <laughs> I want Santa to slay me. See you. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. How do you say it again? Mischievous. Yeah. I must say. I must say. Give me a bit of that cow tongue. <laughs>